Hey there guys, welcome to Pixeliscope. In today's session, I'm gonna talk about the radial symmetry in Blender Sculpt mode. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've already opened up Blender. Let's just add a cube. I'll just scale it by 8. S, uh, I pressed S and then press 8. So it scaled 8 times of it, uh, initial size. Now I will uh, add a Con uh, add a subdivision surface by using control 2 you can alternatively do that by going here and adding this so i'll just increase this to 6 because i will be sculpting and i'll just apply this and i will uh, make it more spherical by pressing alt s alt shift and s so it's more spherical now so let's just apply scale location rotation so that it doesn't give any uh, weird artifacts during sculpting so let's just go to sculpting now so i am in sculpting now so let's go straight to the symmetry so initially you will have the x symmetry x mirror symmetry enabled so basically what it does it um, mirrors whatever you do on the zy ac uh, across the zy axis so along the x axis so if i draw something here as you can see it just mirrors the whole thing to the other side right so this is pretty straightforward it can be really uh, beneficial for character design drawing eyes and face um, face sculpting etc so now I'll go to radial symmetry. So what radial symmetry does is it basically adds um, a symmetry radially along the axis you specify. All right. Yeah. So if I now increase the um, increase the number of x radial symmetry, so it will um, make a four symmetry along the x-axis so if i now draw here as you can see how easily i can draw interesting shapes using this symmetry so i can increase uh, this as i wish so now it uh, draws eight different patterns along this axis so it basically divides the 360 degree um, by 8 and then put your H stroke to one of that. So it can be really really um, essential for doing some ornamental sculpting. So it was the X. It cannot be 0. If I put 0 here, it always becomes 1. So if I now increase x to uh, y to 8, so as you have guessed, it will uh, uh, symmetrify along the y axis, right? So previously it was along the x axis, now it will do the same along the y axis. So if I now go to my top view and just draw something, as you can see, very easily I can draw many interesting shapes by using this type of symmetry so it can be really really easy to draw interesting symmetrical pattern by using this so this was your Y and then you have Z basically if you increase the amount in z it need not be um, 8 you can put anything and now your z axis is this so it will symmetry uh, along this uh, this axis right as it did previously with the other axis so basically as you can see it's it's really easy to draw such interesting shapes in one stroke which can be really tough if this is not enabled right yeah 
so there you go your symmetry so basically um, I'll just undo everything by going to object and just pressing ctrl Z one uh, single time now I'll go to sculpt node again and you can combine all of this so if you combine all this I, I haven't uh, been able to made, make anything um, that useful and I didn't get the control but you might get some funky looking things by combining all this symmetry together but I think for my personal choice I have always used uh, one one axis at a time so in this case it's Y so it will do this along the Y so you can even um, you can even add a, combine this with a mirror so now if I increase the X and now I choose the X so it will do a mirror across this symmetry and uh, is, uh, additionally it will add a symmetry over here also as you can see it's really easy to build interesting stuff all right so let's just now um, go uh, let's just now go to a speed speed uh, sculpting and i'll just demonstrate you how i made a um, handle of screw, screwdriver so let's just jump over to that so what do we have here i have prepared a base mesh and i am figuring out the resolution of dynotopo and i'll use uh, curve stroke method so i've just increased the um, radial symmetry along y so finally yeah the curve one so if you don't know how to do that i'll just um, give a link to the description of a tutorial there you can learn that so i am adding more subdivision here so that i can give a pinching effect so now i'm just doing the same thing control right clicking and putting the curve there and just um, pressing enter so after enter it is applied so as you can see the pinching is done beautifully so my upper area of this handle is almost done now I'll start with the middle portion so same thing I'll decrease I've decreased the volume to 5 so it will have five different stroke and same thing I'm doing I'm just pressing enter after making the curve to apply the stroke so here you go it's really um, a great tool for doing some hard surface sculpting as you can see I'm doing the pinching to give it a more um, sharp uh, sharpening effect and I'm just repeating the same stuff here I increased the radial symmetry to uh, 8 and I'm doing all thing across the Y and I'm just experimenting with the curve so I increased the strength and radius and I'm just smoothing it out basically same stuff I'm repeating over and over smoothing it out and pinching then I will just pinch it so these curves are uh, made as I mentioned before control and right clicking and then press enter to apply so it has a nice um, nice shape an interesting one which can be hard to pull off without this radial symmetry thing so as my final bottom area of this handle I am again doing this just <laughs> experimentally added some funky stuffs which I later regretted 
but you get the idea how um, things can be done with this radial symmetry so I think that's mainly important about this tutorial so yeah uh, I'm doing the same pinching and using the curved stroke so it's basically the repetition of same thing and doing some smooth brush techniques here and there now I'm doing a crease to give a nice um, Increasing effect. <laughs> yeah, so it's done. I'll say it's almost done. Oh no, there is more pinching. Yeah. So finally, I think. Think, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so finally it's done. So that was it for the radial symmetry tool in Blender. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification right away. So that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.